Hi guys, I'm Brian and I don't post or design thumbnails anymore because this AI agent does it all for me automatically. In this video, I'll show you how to build your own YouTube thumbnail generator AI agent step by step using N8. With this automation, all you need to do is just fill out a simple form with your video details and within seconds, it creates a clean, attention-grabbing thumbnail that perfectly matches the channel's style. It helps you make your video stand out, keeping your branding consistent and get you more clicks all without any design effort. So without wasting any time, let's get started. To create our AI thumbnail creator, we are going to do six steps. The first step is to download the workflow. So to download the workflow, click the link below the description. Now here you can see that we have a ready-made workflow template that you can use to set up instantly without building from scratch. In order to use this template, first we need to have an N8 in hosting. Now there are three different ways you can use N8. The first option is to host N8 locally on your own computer. The first option is free, but it is more complex to set up. The second option is using WebSpace Kit for hosting N8. This is the most quickest and the low cost way to host N8. This costs just $5 per month or 400 rupees per month. It's easy to use with zero setup required. You also get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. The third option is the N8 Cloud, which is the official platform by N8. This costs £24 per month, which is approximately $27. It's much more expensive and the features are limited too. In this video, we're going to purchase N8 from WebSpace Kit, where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N8 is open source, you get much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like WebSpace Kit. Also, WSK provides 100 plus workflow templates for free along with the hosting. So to unlock the workflow template and get the N8 hosting, just click this workflow. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. I'm going to choose 12 months. If you choose 24 months, this gives you the best price which is $5 per month. Then fill in these details, enter your payment details and click checkout. So now we have successfully made the payment and we've got our N8 hosting. Now click here and you can see that our plan is active. So let's go to step 2 which is to set up N8. So to set it up, click manage. Just scroll down and click go to setup. You're filling these details, click next and it'll take you to this page. This is the place where we are going to create the workflow. We've got our own instance of NA10 on our own URL like you see here. This is completely private for you and only you can use it. Once you reach this page, this means you can now start adding and running your workflows. First, let's download the template. Just go to this tab. Now, if we refresh the page, you can see we are now able to download this template. So just click download and the template file will be downloaded to your computer. Once you have the template, we can go to the next step, which is to import the workflow template. To import the template, go back to N810. Just click start from scratch. Now click here. Select import from file option and upload the AI thumbnail creator workflow file. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. Now just click save to store our workflow. All right, we have successfully imported our workflow. Now we are ready to configure the nodes and connect the required API services to our workflow. So let's go to the fourth step, which is to connect Cloudinary to N8. We're using Cloudinary to store our images. It stores the images uploaded in the form and generates direct links that the AI agent uses to create the final thumbnail. So to connect Cloudinary to N8, open this node. And here we need to add the cloud name. Let's go back to the YouTube tutorial tab. Click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now click get started and sign in with your Google account. Once you're on this page, here you can see your cloud name. So let's copy it by clicking here. Come back to N8 and replace this placeholder with it. Now go back to this tab again, click assets Go to folders and click here. Give the folder a name. Let's say thumbnail assets. Click save. Now click here and copy the folder name. Come back to N810 and paste it here. Now let's go back to this tab again. Click the settings icon. 
click upload then click here enter a name for the preset let's enter ai thumbnail then open this drop down and select unsigned here enter the name of the folder you just created and click save now copy this name go back to n810 scroll down replace this text with the preset name you just copied we have now successfully connected cloudinary to n810 next let's go to the fifth step which is to connect wave speed ai to n810 wave speed is an ai image generation platform and we are going to use it to generate our thumbnails so to get the wave speed api key click the link in the description and it will take you to this page now click here and sign in with your google account then click here and go to billing to use wave speed api we need to add some credits so let's select the plan that best suits our need then click here fill in your card details and complete the payment once it's done go to api keys here enter a name for your key i'll type ai thumbnail creator and click create as you can see we got the api key so let's copy it go back to n88 and paste it here perfect we have now successfully connected wave speed to n18 now let's go to the sixth step which is to connect open ai to n18 open ai will analyze your video details like the title and the description and generate a detailed creative prompt for the thumbnail design including your layout text style and the visual elements so to connect open ai to n18 open this node click here and select create new credentials this is where we need to enter the api key to get the api key click the link given in the description and sign in with your google account click a create new secret key here give your key a name i'll call it ai thumbnail creator and click a create secret key as you can see we now have our api key but keep in mind you'll only be able to get an api key from open ai if you've added a payment method first now let's copy this key go back to n8 and and paste the api key into this field and click save great we have now successfully connected open ai to n8 and since we have one more open ai node to configure them just open it and it will be connected to n8 and now just click save to store the workflow all right so now we've connected all the required api services with our n8 and workflow and it's ready to run just click execute workflow and you'll see this form appear let's fill it out step by step first add title here of the video you want to create a thumbnail for i'll type best way to make money using ai next add a short description of your video this field is optional but it helps the ai understand the theme colors and layout better even if you leave it empty it will still create an amazing thumbnail automatically now upload a clear photo of the host Next, we have two more fields: reference thumbnail image and tools or logo images. You can upload a reference thumbnail if you already have a style you like, and under tools and logos, you can add your brand icons or any extra graphics. Both are optional, and I'm going to skip them for now. Now let's click submit, and you can see the workflow has started to run, and in a few seconds, it suggests a few thumbnail ideas to choose from. I'm going to pick this one. and click submit again the workflow is now executed so let's open this node right click on the link and choose go to link you can see the thumbnail is downloaded so let's open it and wow look at this the layout is sharp clean and instantly catches your eye now let's test it again with different inputs just execute the workflow again This time I'll only enter the video name, upload the host image and add a reference thumbnail. I'll select the reference image file. Click submit. And once it's done, open the node and download the thumbnail like before. And you can see this one turned out great too. It really matches our reference image. and has the face of the host placed perfectly in the frame so that's it guys this is how you can build and run your ai thumbnail generator agent using n8 now it's your turn try it out and see how easy it is to create stunning thumbnails in just seconds 
The first step is to download the template on WebSpace Kit. And to do that, just click here and it will take you to the same page that we saw in the first step. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.